In this video, I'm going to tell you a story about how a client from Australia fooled me and made me work for 60 hours for free. Continue watching this video. All right, guys, let's talk. I'm just letting you know that um, I've had a client, uh, I've had a contract, I've been working for 60 hours and I didn't get uh, paid for that at all. So that's the main uh, problem what happened to me. That, con that contract uh, uh, was taken from Upwork, it was just a regular Upwork contract. Uh, the only distinctive thing related to this contract is that it was provided uh, to me by another client. Um, I've been working uh, already uh, with uh, another client, his name is Jesse, he's uh, also from Australia. Uh, and I've been working already um, for uh, at least six months uh, with this client. He's a great guy, very honest, uh, very trustworthy. It's a great pleasure for me to work with him. And actually he provided another contract, another uh, a business opportunity and together we decided to take a part in that project. Um, I've started uh, w working on that contract immediately uh, and at the first phone call um, they described because there was uh, another team, uh, there was a team lead, uh, like a product owner no matter how you call it. Uh, there was a guy uh, and he explained me so what uh, I supposed to do that was a huge project uh, written in PHP and Laravel uh, I needed to develop a landing based on the uh, PHP and Laravel CMS application uh, which um, uh, had already been developed. So the thing is that it was a complicated uh, application and the main purpose of that application was to generate these landings. This is what they, well, this is what they said. So uh, and, uh, and their clients officially um, like for uh, for whom they um, were making these uh, landings uh, was Heineken Australia. And Heineken is the, beer, is the biggest uh, you know uh, brewery, beer, beer brewery uh, company in the world. Um, the first question, we had a phone call, the first question that I asked them was uh, whether we have any uh, HTML and CSS layouts and they told me that uh, we don't need them because all uh, pages and all assets are generated there in the application on the fly. All right, so uh, and we quickly described, uh, he quickly described the project, so uh, he showed me um, several things how to um, get everything done, how to handle it, how to use it, so uh, what was where and stuff like that. And the next day I started coding and then I realized that actually I've spent the whole uh, working day for that finding out how uh, all these things are happening, um, like how all these assets and all these um, images are you know getting together and how uh, all these um, pages, I mean landing pages are, uh, are, are compiled. And um, I spent the whole working day for that and then I discovered that uh, the thing that he said, it wasn't true. Only one form is generated, the rest of the website, it, it's just, uh, it's made that regular way how you make, uh, you know, everything with your, uh, with your own hands coding, making CSS, uh, HTML and stuff like that. So the layout uh, was made um, automatically only for the main payment form, the rest was generated the regular way. This is the first mistake that they did. Um, actually, then I started coding and I started asking them questions like where is, where is what, that please give me the access to the repository. Uh, admin access, actually they, actually they, they gave me uh, the repository, but they didn't, uh, they, they didn't give me um, the admin access and I wasn't able to put other um, developers um, into this project. And uh, the day before I realized that I will need to hire my uh, front-end lady because uh, uh, finally we needed to develop the layout and I needed her and she does that really you know fast and quickly and you know um, she was uh, re ready uh, to participate in the project but the only thing how I was able to put her in the work 
just to clone the repository and to make the um, just the copy of the existing repository which was on the Bitbucket. So to make it at GitHub because I I don't uh, use this crap called um, uh, Bitbucket, Jira, and uh, Atlassian and you know everything uh, so forth and so on. I don't use that crap. I don't like it. And I just I honestly think that Jira is full of shit. Uh, I spent um, a lot of time explaining her how to deploy the project. Actually, uh, I also needed to connect to her computer uh, through the team viewer in order to deploy everything because it was just a raw Laravel project. And um, it didn't have um, a separate front end application as I do regular regularly uh, on a regular basis so you, you uh, usually i just separate them so i have one uh, front-end application and then i have back-end application and they are connected through uh, api uh, it wasn't this way so all assets were together um then she started working and uh, then i realized that all accounts in the back-end application so they don't work so they had access to google vision uh, they had mail gone for sending emails. They had uh, Stripe for making payments. Nothing worked. Uh, I asked them, like, guys, where is the? Uh, how, how can I get access? Uh, and they said nothing. You know, I had to register all these accounts and myself and spend more time uh, for them as well. Actually, the code was uh, pretty complicated, so uh, I also needed to, to spend, you know, qu quite a while in order to just to understand what's what's going on in uh, in the uh, existing code. It was just a huge work, and uh, the quantity of questions uh, that I had it was just absolutely, you know, like it was endless. Uh, and they did, you know, they played a very interesting game. So uh, none of my questions. Uh, uh, none of my, of my questions uh, uh, actually was asked, was answered, <laughs> was asked, <laughs> beg your pardon. So I didn't get, uh, you know, answers for my questions and I had to figure out, uh, figure out everything myself. So, uh, and I spent even more time for that. Uh, as the result, dead, uh, deadline failed, so and I wasn't able to deliver the project uh, to, to the time. And they just decided, and then, you know, they just disappeared. So uh, they told, uh, uh, they told Jesse, the, the friend of mine, my previous, my, my current uh, major client. So they told him that the project is cancelled and they don't need that shit anymore. You know, because this is not the uh, the way, uh, this is not the way they expected the project to be developed. And actually, they they were saying that nothing is developed and stuff like that. Um, I started because uh, you know uh, when I do my project, so I start everything from um, from developing the software specification. This is really important because in this, in the software specification, uh, you put all uh, necessary details. So you put everything in it. Like uh, if you take, for example, building house as the example. So you put information in there: how many windows are there, how many doors, and so what would be the color of the building. Uh, after that, so when uh, the uh, acceptance tasting phase um, uh, comes up to, to to a scene, so according to this information, your work is uh, is checked and accepted, you know. And actually, I had to stop de uh, developing this software specification just due, due to the fact that I didn't have time for that. And um, I realized that I need to spend time for developing more than for documentation. And that was my mistake, guys. Um, actually, um, I had uh, an open contract and I was about to, to start a trial there at Upwork, you know, but the only thing that it was a fixed time, um, a fixed time, a uh, fixed payment contract, it, it wasn't just uh, an hourly contract as I do usual. Uh, really important to log your hours with that application, which is called uh, AppWork tracking time software, something like that. I've never used it, you know, and only uh, while preparing to this um, to this trial there at AppWork, I realized that um, only if you go this way, so they give you the uh, the protection, which is called hourly payment protection. 
like during this um, period of time, if you log your hours with this application, your hours are logged, your, sc your, screen, uh, your screenshots are taken and everything is stored and then sent to their servers. This is how they can determine uh, whether you were uh, actually doing your work or you were just uh, wasting your time. Uh, I didn't do that, uh, but uh, I had you know half of the software specification attached to the contract. Uh, and it had the deadline of 10th of October 2019, you know, and like um, officially, um, I had all chances to to win this um, to win this trial. But you know, I, I haven't uh, I haven't yet started it because I think I'm not going to do that because I just don't want to, uh, you know, because right now I have a top rated rating there at Upwork. Uh, it's you know it's a huge achievement for me, and I've been working really hard for for getting that status. And I don't want to. I don't want to spoil it, you know, because this is the good thing to have it. Um, actually, this was the result uh, of this contract. I've been working for 60 hours. It was just absolute stress. Uh, I worked my ass off. Uh, I did my best, and uh, actually, they didn't pay. And when I told them that, dude, uh, like this is the, the version number one, so. Uh, I have a lot of functionality developed in it, please check it. And I need about half of the day or just a day in order to put the rest uh, into the application. They didn't do that, they didn't need it at all. So they told me just that, that my work was full of shit. Uh, but the day before deadline, uh, they called me and uh, they asked me like, hey Boris, did you take a look at Jira? So we have tickets in it. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, guys? What, what tickets? And then, how? Oh, the, the tickets are there, just to take a look at them. It's like, wait a second, how come, uh, like, how this can even happen? So, if you have tickets there in Jira, uh, by, the, by the same time, you know, I, I haven't even deployed a version. And then told her, oh, I mean, just don't worry about that. We checked everything that just the same day you, you, you've set up the, the server. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, dudes? So someone uh, decided to open these tickets when I just deployed the first version of the server with nothing in it, you know? And finally, when I decided to have a quick look there uh, into this uh, Jira bug tracking shitty application, I realized that those tickets, they even do not have dates in it, you know? How can you, can you, how can you check these tasks or tickets without dates in them. What a crap, dudes. And um, also, as I told you, I had to clone this repository. I, ha I had to set up all my accounts. I had to put up a front-end developer and it consumed a lot of time, you know? I told them that, dude, like, why you gave me the wrong information? So you just guided me the wrong way. This is, this is why I spent so much time just for nothing, just for discovering things that don't really exist in the application. And that, that information was just full of shit. I was so disappointed, you know? Um, they said nothing, they just disappeared. And I, I sent this uh, text message uh, to the product owner uh, there in the private chat. He didn't reply, you know? And uh, actually, so this is what, <laughs> this is what happened with me uh, on this project. I'm really disappointed, but you know, I learned a huge lesson. Never work without the software specification, guys. The first, uh, the, the first thing that you must do is just to have software specification and log your hours with that freaking uh, Upwork application. Only in this case, so you can have a, you, you, you may have chances for, uh, for winning the, uh, the trial there at Upwork. Otherwise, you will never get paid. If you guys are interested in what I'm talking about, please let me know in the comments below. And also, if you guys are interested in how these software specifications look like, please send me the message. I will uh, share uh, some documents with you. So I have these uh, templates, they don't have any official information about clients, but you can take them as, uh, as the example. And they are really uh, useful for like talking to your new clients because when you quickly can uh, show them this document and tell them this is what you've done. Because most of the time clients, they don't have time for checking your websites, your work, and they don't really understand how to log in and what's, what the hell is going on in there. Software specifications are good for that purpose. Let me know if you need it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.